Oh, and welcome back to another episode of Mass Effect. This time I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I decided that, uh, I'm, I wanted to get more into the game itself. So... I decided that from now on, every about 10 or 15 videos or so, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to do a little... Hmm, wow, I have a lot of level up. I'm going to do a little video of... Sorry. I'm going to do a little video that uh, kind of just goes through... What am I trying to say here? I, it, it, it'll just be going through like the codex entries basically that I have so far. Now, I know some people might be like, well, that's stupid, or oh, I don't want to, I don't care about that. That's why I'm making separate videos for it. I'll be, uh, it'll be like, I don't know, let's read Mass Effect codex entries. I don't know, I'll, I'll figure out something to name it. But the videos will be named something different, and I'll still keep posting, you know, obviously, posting, uh, what am I trying to say, what am I trying to say, oh yeah, posting, you know, regular gameplay videos, because, you know, that's how I roll. these points, so I'll get right into it. Just give me a second. Thank you. And the reason I'm doing this pretty much is because I decided, you know, some people might be like me and want to, uh, want to find out more about the game itself, because even though I've played this game a few times, actually, I still don't have, like, I don't know everything about it. And I want to find out as much as possible. Journal, that's just missions. Alright, Codex. Uh, okay, I can see that. Player tutorials, I'll probably be... I'll probably be just ignoring those. Yeah, it's all stuff I already know. And stuff you'll see me be doing, so you don't need me to read it. I'll be reading the secondary ones. So, uh just so you know everybody will have it. And the primary ones I'll just listen to and probably gonna go through primary first. So uh yeah, sit back and enjoy, I guess I'm gonna get right into it. The Asari were the first species to discover the citadel. When the Salarians arrived, it was the Asari who proposed the establishment of the Citadel Council to maintain peace throughout the galaxy. Since then, the Asari have served as the mediators and centrists of the council. An all-female race, the Asari reproduce through a form of parthenogenesis. They can attune their nervous system to that of another individual of any gender and of any species to reproduce. This capability has led to the unseemly and inaccurate rumors about Asari promiscuity. Asari can live for over a thousand years, passing through three stages of life. In the maiden stage, they wander restlessly, seeking new knowledge and experience. When the matron stage begins, they meld with interesting partners to produce their offspring. This ends when they reach the matriarch stage, where they assume the roles of leaders and counselors. Alright, there's your little tidbit. I thought I'm sorry. Next, the Salarians. The second species to join the Citadel, the Salarians are warm-blooded amphibians with a hyperactive metabolism. Salarians think fast, talk fast, and move fast. To Salarians, other species seem sluggish and dull-witted. Unfortunately, their metabolic speed leaves them with a relatively short lifespan. Salarians over the age of 40 are a rarity. The Salarians were responsible for advancing the development of the primitive Krogan species to use as soldiers during the Rachni Wars. They were also behind the creation of the genophage bioweapon the Turians used to quell the Krogan rebellion several centuries later. Salarians are known for their observational capability and non-linear thinking. 
This manifests as an aptitude for research and espionage. They are constantly experimenting and inventing, and it is generally accepted that they always know more than they are letting on. Yeah, sounds like a trustworthy bunch. The Turians. Oh yeah, one other thing. I'm going to, in order to be getting as much codex entries as possible, I'm going to be uh, exploring more conversation branches from here on out. And uh, for people who don't care or don't want to see it, that's there's a little bar down here on the bottom on YouTube, which is where I'll be posting these, that you can just skip right through that. It'll, it's really easy. Alright, next, the Turians. Roughly 1,200 years ago, the Turians were invited to join the Citadel Council to fulfill the role of galactic peacekeepers. The Turians have the largest fleet in Citadel space, and they make up the single largest portion of the Council's military forces. As their territory and influence has spread, the Turians have come to rely on the Salarians for military intelligence and the Asari for diplomacy. Despite a somewhat colonial attitude towards the rest of the galaxy, the ruling hierarchy understands they would lose more than they would gain if the other two races were ever removed. Turians come from an autocratic society that values discipline and possesses a strong sense of personal and collective honor. There is lingering animosity between Turians and humans over the First Contact War of 2157, which is known as the Relay 314 incident to the Turians. Officially, however, the two species are allies, and they enjoy civil, if cool, diplomatic relations. Guy doing these voiceovers, <laughs> this is like got really, uh, I don't know how to say it. He, he... A soothing voice, I guess, is the best I can go with it. The Geth are a humanoid race of networked AIs. They were created by the Quarians 300 years ago as tools of labor and war. When the Geth showed signs of self-evolution, the Quarians attempted to exterminate them. The Geth won the resulting war. This example has led to legal, systematic repression of artificial intelligences in galactic society. The Geth possess a unique distributed intelligence. An individual has rudimentary animal instincts, but as their numbers and proximity increase, the apparent intelligence of each individual improves. In groups, they can reason, analyze situations, and use tactics, as well as any organic race. Geth space is located at the trailing end of the Perseus arm, beyond the lawless Terminus systems. The Perseus Vale, an obscuring dark nebula of opaque gas and dust lies between their space and the Terminus systems. All right, that'll be the uh, last entry we do for this session of, uh, I don't know what to call it yet. I mean, let's delve into Mass Effect. Ah, that seems pretty good. I mean, let's play Mass Effect isn't, let's delve into isn't much longer. So, uh, yeah, that's probably what I'll be calling this. Um, yeah, we've got, got quite a bit to go. That's actually one of the reasons I'm doing this on part of my uh, Let's Play, on part of you know YouTube and everything, is simply because every time I've played this game and everything, I've thought about just going through the codex entries and reading them all and looking at them all and everything, but then I would just, you know, not want to do it anymore at all. So I'm going to like you know basically force myself to do, ah, force myself to do it so I can learn more about the game and everything. Yeah. So uh, thanks for watching and please tune into the next episode of Let's Delve Into Mass. That just doesn't seem right. I'll figure out something. Just please tune into the next episode of whatever this is that I have currently don't have a name for, but is really awesome and you know you love it. <laughs> thanks for watching, people.